cross legs are 20 There are 20 students in the class So we have completed one test So in the test All the 20 students They got different different marks Like they got one of the students got 19 marks And another student got 18 marks And 16, 15, 14 And some of them They got 13 marks like that For the 20 students marks were given Marks of those 20 students are 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 30, and 18, 20, 18, 20, 18, 15, 20, and uh, 15. Let us take the marks of the students 
So here we have discussed about data, the collected information is called as data. We have collected students marks. So that is called data only from the students. Uh, we can collect the information from somewhere. Uh, collecting the information from the people directly. Like these are family members in their families or their children and what are their ages and their, their occupation and collecting this all the kind of information is called as the data this kind of collecting the information directly from the people directly from the object directly from the source is called as data sometimes we collect the data from the newspapers internet and other sources this is also called as data data is divided into primary data and secondary data this primary data is nothing but you collect the information directly from the source and uh, secondary data is nothing but you collect information indirectly or uh, as earlier we have discussed so organizing the data after collect collecting the information we need to put it into some order to know is to know about it and understand very easily so we will put in a particular form and that is called as organizing data so representation of data after organizing the data it is very to see it or uh, the data is larger than it takes time to read up or takes time to understand then we will put that information as the pictures like pictogram pictures or diagrams or something so that kind of representing the data this that is only the representation of the data and the uh, data Actually, the data is plural word. The second word of data is data. This is a singular word for the data. Data is a plural word. Data. So, uh, up to now, we have discussed about primary, secondary and organizing the data and representation of the data. Let's go to the next concept, tally marks. Tally marks are those to represent the data in a particular form, to count the objects easily or to count the numbers easily in the particular group of the data and that that is used as tally marks for example we will take some of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and these are the numbers we take we collect this information last and uh, frequency first let, let us discuss about the class here we have let us take some more numbers about it so 4, 2, 3, 7, 6, 2, 3, 1 and some of the information we have collected so after gathering some of the numbers some of the information let us discuss about the class Class is nothing but we need to take that observations. The observations are nothing but the values, what we have collected, what, what are the information we have collected. That let's make it into some of the group, and that group is called as class. So let's take, let's see. To understand easily, we'll take some of the numbers into one group, like one and two. From 1 and to 2, 1 to 2, we'll 
take as a group one and include it two. We'll take it as one group. In the next one, three to four as one group we have taken. So five to six, six seven to eight, and then we can observe the least number from this values is one. That's the reason we started with one. The highest value among this is seven. So from seven to eight, seven is present. That's the reason we have taken eight also. With eight we included in that. So seven to eight, all the groups we have collected from that. So now one and two, one to two. So how many numbers are present between this group? That group is called as class. We have discussed. So how many numbers are present from one and two? One to two group. Let us see here. This is one and two. Two values are present. And there is two, one more. So one, two, three. Up to now, we have taken. So we are drawing the vertical lines here. Among the group, how many numbers are present in that? The number of values or number of present in that. We are taking one, two, three. So three lines, three vertical lines we have taken. So let us see. One more number. And there is one more number. So four. After four, there is five also. For the fifth value, to understand easily, fifth line, fifth vertical line will not draw, and fifth one will take it cross line, and this will be as five items or five numbers or five values. So one, two, three, four, five values are present. Let us see one more value is present in that. That we take one more one. If it is that, so there is only we have five solutions and five values are present. So we have taken five, one, two, three, four, four vertical lines, and uh, we cross it and we take it as five. So this, uh, when we are counting these numbers and writing the vertical values, vertical lines, and the fifth one crossing it, this kind of writing is called as tally marks to understand easily, to, understand, to count easily. We will use these tally marks at the starting stage. So frequency. It's nothing but how many times 1 to 2 is repeated. How many number of values are repeated by this 1 and 2? So let's see how many are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the 5 observations, 5 numbers are present between 1 and 2. And that number, how many times it is repeated? How many values are repeated from 1 and 2? The observations are there after counting of this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that value is small as frequency. So this is the frequency, 5 is frequency, the number, of number of times. So 1 to 2, there are 5 values are present. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we cross it here. This is about class and uh, tally marks and frequency. Similarly, we will see that 3 and 4 also. Uh, 3 and 4, we will see your 3, 4, uh, 3, 4, 2 times. And uh, 3, 4, 3, 4, this is 1 time. So 1 and uh, 4. It's completed. So three and four. Uh, so sorry, here one more three is present. So and also three is present. So two times. So four one and fifth one. You know that we discussed earlier. It's five eight. So this is five. So fifth one. So five frequencies is five because five was present between three and four. Uh, let's see next next one five and six. Uh, five and six. Five six and uh, six three. So 3 times 1, 2, 3, so 3, frequency is 3, let's say 7, so 7 here, 7 and 7, and uh, 2 are present, so 2, here are 2 lines, so between 7 and 8, 7 to 8, here, let's see numbers, here, 1, 7, and there is 1 more 7, and then, let's line 2, 1 and 2, and 2 here, frequency is 2, so, these are all time marks, so say about the class, the group, that's nothing but uh, we have taken the group and we made some of the numbers and we made uh, the main group. Uh, so this is 1 to 2, the frequency is the number, total number of times it is repeated, it will be 1 to numbers, how many times it is present. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times it is present. So 5 numbers are present, uh, between 1 and 2, this is frequency, tally pass, we will draw a vertical line to understand very clearly, to count very easily. And these are the, the tally marks. Now, until now, we have 